I'm pretty conflicted right now, guys. Just like a week ago, I had Rudy Gay in my Don't Sign These Free Agents video, and now he's on the Spurs. And all the things that I said about Rudy, isolation heavy player, not a natural outside shooter, even if he's grown to like league average, not known for his defense, not a good playmaker, I'm willing to back up on those just a little bit because now he's in Greg Popovich's system and if there's anyone who's ever going to figure out how to use a guy like Rudy Gay it's going to be Popovich. So where do I even begin with this? I think first off I don't know if Rudy's going to start or come off the bench for them. If he was going to start then it would be at a small ball four and now that I think about it you probably wouldn't want that just because Sustaining that over an entire season is pretty difficult, at least for a guy like Rudy Gay. So he'll probably come off the bench for them. And he would probably be the first guy since Manu of a couple years ago who has real scoring potential off of San Antonio's bench. And I do trust Popovich to use him a bit more effectively. I think in the past, coaches have allowed Rudy to go in isolations or allow him to post up and I mean okay at times you can do it but I definitely wouldn't go to that consistently because he's not good enough to produce winning basketball like that but I think Popovich will be smart enough to like find ways to get Rudy switched onto a mismatch maybe he'll have him screen off ball for like the point guard and then he'll have like someone who's 6'2 defending him then I have no problem with Rudy going one-on-one -on -one sometimes. Doing it against opposing wings, not really. I would also like to see if Popovich uses him as a cutter. Because Rudy's pretty damn athletic still, and he can get up there. Of course, the injury is a concern, but... Given that he's, what, 27, 28 years old, I don't know if there's too much of a worry for that. And Rudy actually shot 65% at the basket this previous season for the Kings, which is very good for a small forward. I mean, it's very good for pretty much anyone, really. I would also think that Popovich will get him some, like, plays where he's moving off ball. Maybe for open mid-range jumpers or open three-pointers. I feel like Rudy's always had an ability to put the ball in the basket. It's just the type of player he was was always wrong and coaches didn't really know how to use him effectively. And I could actually see a world where he's not dribbling the ball that often. I mean, sure, sometimes he might have a pick and roll situation, but I really think Popovich is going to use him as like an off-ball guy a decent amount of the time and just take advantage of what Rudy's good at and then take away the things that hurt you as a team, which is him like over-dribbling all the time. So that's on the offensive side of things. Defensively, I still have concerns that Rudy's just not going to be that good. I do think he's gotten better as his career has went along, but I don't consider him to be a guy who I'm excited about if he's playing defense for my team. But here's what I think with San Antonio. For one, they're just a, an extremely smart defensive team. I mean, they managed to beat the Houston Rockets while Pau Gasol was playing actual minutes for them. Same thing with LaMarcus Aldridge, really. So I think Popovich, one, can just f find a way to just figure it out with Rudy on the floor. But also, Kawhi Leonard is the best perimeter defender in the NBA. Danny Green is one of the best perimeter defenders in the NBA. If one of those guys is playing with Rudy at all times, then Gay could be on, like, the second or potentially even the third best perimeter player on the other team and at that point you are kind of like hiding the fact that he might not be that good on defense because the guy he's defending just might not be someone who's going to kill you anyway and if he's on the floor with both Danny Green and Kawhi Leonard then I think you're doing pretty okay in terms of just hiding Rudy of course smart NBA teams as well as teams that just have a lot of good offensive players they could still find a way to attack him Especially the Warriors. I don't know, really know where you hide him against them. But still, I, I think that can help you if he's just not going to be good on defense. Now, maybe Rudy just comes in with a new mentality of, I'm going to be committed on this side of the floor because he has the potential to be a good defender. He's tall. He's athletic. 
he knows how to move around the floor pretty well. So who knows with what's going to happen with him defensively. But I also mentioned a, a moment ago there, him playing with Danny Green and Kawhi Leonard, that would mean that Rudy is playing the uh, power forward position. And I think we'll definitely see that at times. Him uh, just being the small ball four with probably LaMarcus Aldridge at center or maybe Pau Gasol at times. That could be a really strong offensive lineup if you have something like Patty Mills or Tony Parker, Danny Green, Kawhi Leonard, Rudy Gay, and then Aldridge or Pau Gasol. That team can definitely put up some points. It also gives you a guy who can be more effective in transition, which is never a bad thing, especially if he's matched up against the opposing four who might not be as fast as him. So I definitely have some fears. I hope Rudy Gay knows what he's getting into. I think he does because, I mean, it's pretty well documented how San Antonio does things and how guys are willing to buy into what Popovich has going on. And I think Rudy, if this all goes really well, I think he can be someone who is coming off of screens for San Antonio, cutting to the basket, being effective in transition, and not having the ball in his hands that often. And then defensively, he's someone who is not going to hurt them. And then given what he's going to give them on offense, that's good enough. Could give them more athleticism at the small ball four position. It could go really well, or it could not. Maybe Rudy doesn't want to play defense, or just doesn't have the ability to play defense up to whatever Popovich considers to be acceptable. Offensively, he doesn't really adjust well to not having the ball in his hands as much. Or maybe Popovich just gives him the ball and then it doesn't go well because then he's just normal Rudy Gay. I don't know. I'm definitely concerned about this one, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, and I can see how... Popovich can use Rudy Gay in a productive way, but I can also see how this could not go well as well, so we're just going to have to see what happens, but I'm definitely optimistic, and I mean, I said it on Twitter, and I'll say it here. If there's anyone who can defeat the Rudy Gay curse, it's Greg Popovich.